Well, greetings once again, fellow model enthusiasts. Whether you're a fan of Star Trek, um, anything else, whatever interests you, uh, model kits, and different hobbies. I have a little something different to show you guys today. Not that long ago, I did a video for the Revell glow-in-the-dark pirate ship. Well, today, we're going to kind of revisit something along those lines. This is going to be the Revell. This is from Pirates of the Caribbean. And this is the Black Pearl. Um, this is from the film, the Disney film, Pirates of the Caribbean, Salazar's Revenge. And this is the easy click system. You can see on the bottom, 112 parts. It gives you an example or a preview of the parts inside. And you can see the Pirates of the Caribbean, the Jolly Roger skull on the box. And you can see the Black Pearl herself. The Black Pearl being the apple of Captain Jack Sparrow's eye. This is the Revell kit number 05499. And this one actually was a return um, on Amazon, and I was able to get it at a pretty decent price. It was $14 with free shipping. And that's because it had been damaged. Well, the box is damaged. And you can see it's been inspected by Amazon, and they assured that everything was present. So you give you a little bit of the pictures on the back of the box, you can see some of the really nice pictures that uh, they used for the finished model. I love the gold on the black. It just looks fantastic. The Black Pearl's a real beautiful ship. I, as much as I love the Black Pearl, you know, I love the... If you guys know Pirates of the Caribbean, they're Flying Dutchman. I just, I love that ship so much. That thing is so cool. I love for them to make a model of the Flying Dutchman. The way she appears in Pirates of the Caribbean. But this is the Black Pearl from Salazar's Revenge. And you can see it's got the, uh, the wording. I believe that's in German because this is from Germany. Verven Niet Nodig. No require Pintar. Yeah, I don't want to hack up any more German, so... I'm looking for the English translation. And I don't see one. I think all of it is in German. We recommend using the following Revell paints for additional painting. And you can see on the bottom. So, let me try to read this for you. A model construction kit of the legendary Black Pearl, the ship commanded by Captain Jack Sparrow in the film series Curse of the Caribbean. The fifth part, Salazar's Revenge, I think they meant to say Pirates of the Caribbean. Curse of the Caribbean, in the fifth part, Salazar's Revenge, Jack faces the fearsome Captain Salazar, who wants to kill every pirate on the open sea. Wooden structured decks, anchors, rowing boats, guns, shrouds, figurehead, decorative stern, and display stand. So that is the English part of the model kit. Um, you can see the sides. You can see that uh, famous Jolly Roger pirate flag skull with the crossbones. So why don't we take it over to the desk and we'll open it up. All right, so we went over to the desk and it's got a little bit of tape on it. This looks like the tape that was from the factory. So let me go ahead and cut into that. 
what I'm thinking ended up happening with this kit is that it probably got delivered and sometimes I don't know why sellers would insist on putting this into a bag to ship and it probably got destroyed by the the mail the post office but anyway let's open it up I'll pull everything out and then I'll everything appears to be still in its packaging put that where you guys can see so the first thing I notice is the instructions got a nice photo of the black pearl finished model and you know with Ravel they always seem to have really elaborate and really awesome instructions shows you for the decals how to cut the pieces off the trees. The optional equipment you would use or need. And you see the parts tree. The A's, the C's, B's, and D's. For a snap kit, it's a... Uh, We've got a lot of parts. Got 112 parts. So now we go into the colored, looks like the colored trees. You can see the sails and the little figurine that goes on the, uh, the bow. So starting out with the instruction steps, see part one. And that's putting the stand, what would I think would be the stand on the bottom of the hull. And you go part two. Part three. The cannons are so awesome. And the detail, especially on the pirate ships. And you know, when you watch Pirates of the Caribbean... You know, you'd never know it was a Disney movie because they did a fantastic job. Now, I'm not saying anything bad about Disney. I'm just saying that type of special effects and um, especially with the Black Pearl and the Flying Dutchman. They just did such a great job on that. Let's see more of the detail and then you go into the back part. Maybe the captain's quarters at the stern. You can see the rudder. You can see the bringing it all together. And Twelve. Let's see where's thirteen. Fourteen with the wheel. You know, <clears throat> I'm going to put it up in high definition, and hopefully I can get it where if you have this kit and you need the instructions, hopefully you can pause it, and it'll look um, decent. And what I'll do, too, is I'll put up photographs, and if you need these instructions... I'll put them up in photograph form. And you can pause the video. You can see the formation of the bow with the figure on the front. Formation of the ship. See the cross beams that are going to go up on the mast. And you put the rat lines on. Um, part 25, you would put up the anchors. 26, looks like the crow's nests. <clears throat> 27. 
27 will be the rest of the cross rigging that's going to hold the sails in place. And 29 is placement of more of the rat lines. And 30, you start to put the sails on. So 30, 31, 32, and then you put the lanterns on the back, part number 33. It's too bad these aren't, uh, the way they're made, they're really not easy to light. You'd have to get an aftermarket or something clear. And you can see where you put the Jolly Rogers on. It shows you the painting on the back of the ship. And it shows you the top. So that's pretty, uh, pretty cool. <clears throat> and there's something else that was in the instruction booklet. So here are the instructions. And these are not water slide decals. They're actually um, peel and stick stickers. I wonder if they glow in the dark. It does not look like they glow in the dark. And there was something something else that came with the instruction booklet. It looks like, it looks like uh, some safety recommendations, or perhaps some warranty information. <clears throat> Again, I'll put that up in photograph form if you want to check it out. So, the first bag we have is actual parts of the ship you can see the size and this is a pretty good size to see there was a sail what scale it's in one 150 scale so we can start by showing you guys it's a pretty good size ship actually let me show you right now it's one 150 scale so the hull is approximately seven inches long and you can see the side pieces are about eight inches that go to the um, bow to the stern you can see the the detail in that is nice if the camera focuses for you you can see the bottom us a nice detail of the planking now it says easy click system um, I don't know it doesn't look like it would be easy easily held in place um, is any have any of you guys done this without glue I guess easy click system might be different than um, snap together no glue required unless it just clicks into place for easy gluing you can see the, uh, the plank on the deck hopefully the camera picks up the detail the cargo hatches and see where the main mast would go and then towards the aft deck So that looks pretty, uh, pretty detailed, and I love the black. Let's see, what else do we got here? We've got, oh, the back part of the ship where the captain's quarters would be. Again, I hope the camera picks that up for you. You can see the little lifeboat, and you can see in detail the aft end of the ship. 
and what look like the masts and the cross rigging, uh, cross mass, the cross beams, excuse me. There are more windows. And this, of course, goes around the mast. You can see the interesting um, formation. It's got the, uh, the cross beam attached to the, to the beam that's going to come out the front or the mast that's all the way on the bow. And you can see the cross beams that will click into place. And the main mast, the one piece. And it looks like this is the stand that I showed you in the instructions for the first part. But you've got to love the black. It just looks so cool. And I wonder how historically accurate. I wonder if they actually painted the ships black that the pirates took. Because, you know, the pirates would take a captured vessel. And then they would turn it into their own, their own pirate ship. And I forget what the Black Pearl was. I'm not a huge enthusiast of the Pirates of the Caribbean films. But the Black Pearl was a different ship before she was stolen and turned into the Black Pearl. You can see a good, uh, a good look at the cargo hatches. So, what's next? <clears throat> looks like we have, looks like another, another deck. And that's probably where the cannons are going to go. So, if you guys want to just get something to make a model, it might not be a bad idea to check out the Amazon for the, uh, the return things. Like, if you love keeping things in mint condition and you want to keep it in a box in pristine, then obviously this isn't going to have appeal because of the box is totally destroyed. You can see how it's all smashed in and ripped. But if you want to get it and make a quick build with something to amuse yourself, then this is pretty uh, pretty good deal. Like I said, this kit is a lot more expensive than $14 that I paid for it. And that was with free shipping. You can see this tree has the rat lines. There's quite a few rat lines. And you can see the anchor. The port and the starboard anchors. Those are molded really well. Looks like this whole tree is rat lines. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 rat lines and two anchors on this tree. And then we have a, what looks like would be B deck. You have the, uh, the cannons that would come out the sides of the ship. And of course you've got the cannons that would go on A deck. And it says Revel <coughs> excuse me. Revel 2017. It actually has a Revel logo molded into the plastic with the release date year. And again where the mast would go, the main mast. Let's see if you can see the detail on some of the cannon. It's pretty cool. I recently did a um, the video for the glow in the dark Revell pirate ship, um, and it looks like this is a totally different ship. This sometimes you know how they reuse the same molding. This molding is completely different. In that ship. All right, we got more. This is, oh, sorry about that. This is actually the colored trees, and looks like we have some of the the anchors for the rigging that go on the side of the ship. And when 
you flip it around, you can see the, the lanterns. I get, but you know, because this one is a lot lighter, it's not solid black, it might be easier to light this. You can see that hollow on the inside. And you can conceivably run a wire up in there, paint the grill or the grids on the outside, and you could put the lid on, you could conceivably light this. That would be uh, pretty cool. I know, I, I just love to light everything. Um, every model I make, I uh, like to put lights in. You can see the, the figure that'll go on the, the bow of the ship. The first half, anyway. And see the second half. Um, I don't know about that. Let's see. It looks a little, uh, a little mutilated. You can see the front, or the, the, which would be the starboard half. Looks a little more formed. And then the port um, half. It looks like uh, the head is all smushed up and didn't quite go all the way in. But those are the gold pieces. And like I said, the lanterns could be easily lit. What do we got? Now we got the brown. Most notably on the brown is the ship's wheel. And you can see what looks like a vent or a hatch cover. And I don't know if that's a, a gate or to go around the wheel. But there isn't much for the brown. And that brings us to the last bag, and this is the sails. <clears throat> and the sails are not molded in black. Um, they look black on the box, the finished model. Um, they do look black, but like I'm going to show you, they're dark gray. So how many? There's two trees. See, in this, this ship would be easy. Get a little bit of the glow-in-the-dark paint. And what I would do is I would put it into the air gun and I would mist the, the entire ship with it. So it would look frosted. And then when it was um, in the dark, it would look just amazing. And the last part tree that's in the kit, you can see, I'm not sure what this section is. You can see more sails, the sail that uh, will go down, probably along the bow. I wonder what these are. And the sails will be billowing. Now, if you want to make this kit like you would seeing it on the box, it would be pretty, uh, pretty easy. It basically goes together relatively well according to the instructions anyway. Um, and you can see these, I don't think the, um, the illustration on the instructions, I don't think there's any paint on that. Let me see if they just used, yeah, they may have just used the, um, the colored parts the way they were. You can see going back towards the captain's quarters and the uh, the aft deck and the lanterns, um, I'm thinking that those are just off the tree. And you can see the easy click system and it shows everything to just click into place. So I don't know if this is a snap together kit.
or if it's just easy click where it clicks together and stays secure for the gluing. Regardless, I would glue it, um, but that's just me. And it does tell you if you want to paint it, the colors that you can paint. Because like I showed you on the box on the outside, they have the paint key. So the instructions and all the parts trees that are present in this kit in order to build the black pearl. All in all, it had 112 parts from Disney Pirates of the Caribbean, Salazar's Revenge. This is the black pearl. It's one 150 scale, 26 centimeters long by 23 and a half centimeters high. And on the back, it shows you some nice photographs of the finished model. I wonder if that's painted or if that's just off the tree. You can see the, the lifeboat and the figure that goes on the front. So this might be a little fun little build for you guys if you have nothing to do on a weekend. Or if you're looking, to, if you want to get a model and you don't want to pay the expensive, because well, these, these kits can be expensive depending where you go on eBay or Amazon. But this one, like I said, was defective because the box was damaged. So that's why I was able to get it at a discount as a return. And if you buy something at a discount, just remember to, to look for this sticker. That means that it should be in the same condition that it was, at least with everything present, um, when you get the kit. Or whatever you buy. So, if that sticker's not there, then you buy it as is, and that's a little more dicey. But if they claim that everything is present, and you have everything you need, then you can do it. And if you're not worried about how the box looks, then you're all set. You're in luck. So that, my friends, was the Black Pearl Model Kit by Ravel. And this is in 1,150 scale. This is the only kit of the Black Pearl that I have, so I don't know if they just re-box re the different, uh, the same moldings for the different versions of the movie, which they probably do. But I know they have different scales um, than the 1,150. But this one was for the 1,150 scale. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video so you can check out to see what's inside this model kit. And until my next video, I'll see you very soon. And have a great weekend, everybody.